Chapter 1. Why are some people faster than others? When you think of outstanding sprinters, you probably think of Usain Bolt. But what makes him so much faster than the average person? Surely there's more to it than a good training routine. In this part of the course, we're going to take a closer look at how the person's genetics and physical build plays into how fast of a runner they are. Muscle Fibers What type of muscle fibers you have will predispose you to be a better long-distance runner, sprinter, or leave you somewhere in the middle. Marathon runners tend to have a higher proportion of slow-twitch fibers, which help them to go the distance. Sprinters usually have more fast-twitch fibers, which allows them to go faster for shorter periods of time. The average person is born with a pretty even mixture of these two muscle types. However, there is some evidence that shows that you can get about 10% of these to switch by carefully training them, so even if you weren't among the few gifted sprinters that were born with more fast-twitch muscle fibers, you can still train to get a few more on your side. Lactate Threshold This refers to how much lactate you can take before you have to slow down. Lactate is a natural waste product of muscles as they are working, particularly if they are working in an anaerobic state like when you are sprinting. A higher threshold means being able to run faster and that you will be able to maintain that faster speed for longer, which is especially important when you are running at full speed. Fortunately, sprinting training helps to increase this lactate threshold. Physical Form this has a little less to do with genetics and more to do with your overall physical state. Obviously, if you're carrying a few extra pounds, you're not going to be able to move as quickly as someone who's not. This goes for muscle weight as well, which is why most of the sprinters you see are lean without much muscle mass to slow them down. Running form Important points in your overall form include how your foot hits the pavement, how long your strides are, and how clean your gait is. All of these things put together and more make up your form. As you perfect your form through repeated exercises, you will become a better, faster and more efficient sprinter. While some people naturally have a better form, it can be gained through practice. VO2 max. This is something that many middle and long distance runners are concerned with. It measures the maximum max volume V of oxygen O2 that your body can process during exercise. However, because sprinting doesn't use oxygen for fueling your muscles, this is not something that matters as much to sprinters compared to other runners. We mention it here only because it is something commonly discussed among runners, even though it doesn't really apply to sprinters. Even though you may not have the genes to beat Usain Bolt at the next Olympics, you can work to improve all these things to make you a better sprinter overall.